Essential Tremor versus Parkinsonian Tremor. What's the difference? An active 58-year-old man presents to the clinic with new onset left-hand tremor. He is right-handed and occasionally notices the tremor with routine tasks such as reading a book. The rhythmic movements affect the fingers on his left hand, most notably his thumb and index finger. He states it sometimes occurs in the right hand, but is clearly worse on the left. When asked if anything helps alleviate his symptoms, he remembers that using the remote or doing crosswords in bed stops the shaking. How would you differentiate his tremor as Parkinsonian tremor from essential tremor? Parkinsonian tremor is characteristically a tremor present when the limb is at rest. A postural tremor may arise in between movements after a delay, and there may be a mild intention tremor. Essential tremor is defined as a predominantly action tremor present in both arms for at least three years. Tremors are classified by presence or absence during different limb states, such as when the limb is at rest or performing some kind of action. Action tremor is further divided into postural tremor when the body part is held motionless against gravity, kinetic tremor when tremor occurs during the entire movement, and intention tremor in which tremor happens during goal-directed movement and worsens as the target is approached. Essential tremor is the most common cause of action tremor, and affected individuals may have difficulty with common activities, such as writing or drinking from a glass. Essential tremor progressively worsens and can cause significant disability. It is often referred to as familial tremor due to its strong genetic component, with a family history of tremor in up to 80% with onset before age 40. Diagnosis is clinical, and besides stress avoidance, first-line treatments are propranolol or primidone. Rest or resting tremor is an involuntary oscillating motion that occurs when a muscle is inactive and supported against gravity and goes away with action or movement. Voluntary action may cause the rest tremor to abate. Although rest tremor can be seen in patients with dystonia and severe essential tremor, the most common cause of rest tremor is Parkinson's disease. When a unilateral rest tremor is present, assessment for other signs of Parkinson's disease should be performed. Parkinson's disease is a neurologic condition that results with the loss of dopaminergic neurons in the substantia nigra, which leads to difficulty with initiating and performing movements. Parkinson's disease is defined by the presence of bradykinesia, or decrement in speed and amplitude of repetitive movements, and a rest tremor or rigidity with cogwheeling from superimposed tremor. Patients may also develop a shuffling gait consisting of reduced foot clearance when walking and decreased arm swing. Treatment strategies rely on therapies that increase dopamine levels in the brain, inhibit dopamine metabolism, and the use of direct dopamine receptor agonists. Let's revisit our patient. You notice rigidity when assessing muscle tone and decrement on speed and amplitude, bradykinesia, when he is asked to tap his thumb and index fingers together, which is required for diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. During the neurological exam, he also drags one of his feet. You make the clinical diagnosis of Parkinson's disease and advise him regular follow-up for symptomatic management. You discuss potentially starting levodopa carbidopa therapy if symptoms are bothersome and interfere with daily functioning. For more information on this and other neurologic conditions, please visit aan.com neurobytes.